All right, today's activity will involve creating home ranges using QGIS. So let's open up QGIS, open up a new project, and I like to create a base map first. And we've already loaded in that plugin for the OpenStreetMap. So let's double click on that. And then to add in our animals locations, let's go to layer, add layer, add delimited text layer. For file name, we're gonna look for these three dots so that we can browse to the location where our folder is holding our CSV file. So we'll double click on that CSV file called Turtles Locations. Add a file format, we wanna make sure we click on CSV. For geometry definition, this is where we tell QGIS what is our latitude and longitude. And I already cleaned up our data set to make it really easy so we know which is in the X field and which is in the Y field. So you wanna make sure you remember which is longitude and latitude and make sure you tell it correctly to QGIS. Otherwise your locations will be on a totally wrong side of the world. Then we have to tell it the coordinate reference system. So whenever you add in, a data set into QGIS with known locations, you need to know two details. What is the datum based on? And has this data been projected or not? So I already told you it has been projected into UTM zone 18, and it is based on a datum of WGS 84. So now we have to tell QGIS that. So by geometry CRS, we're gonna click on this globe icon. So select our coordinate reference system. We can start to type in, in this filter, this search field up here, we can start to type in UTM zone 18, and it's gonna pull up some options to pick from. Our locations were north of the equator in the Northern hemisphere. So that narrows it down to two options. And this was based on a datum of WGS 84. So we'll select this coordinate, projected coordinate system. We'll hit OK. And that's going to add in our layer into our QGIS once we click Add and Close. And there it is, but it's pretty far away. So let's right click on Turtle Location and Zoom to Layer. Now you'll notice these are the individual points of every single turtle. So this is around 170 locations, but we had five different turtles and we're interested in identifying the home range of every individual turtle. So we wanna make MCPs for each individual turtle by going under this toolbox, this processing toolbox, we will go to vector geometry We'll scroll down to minimum bounding geometry, double click on that. For the input layer, so the data we're putting into this analysis is the uh, CSV file. For the field, this is where we can tell it to separate the analysis by individual turtle. And we know which individual it is because they have a unique ID number. So for field, we're gonna use the ID. For geometry type, we wanna select convex hull. For bounding geometry to create a temporary layer, this is where we will store our final analysis. Let's click on those three dots so we can navigate to where we wanna save our file. So let's click on save to file. Let's navigate to that folder and now we'll call it Turtles um, QGIS MCP. And it's already being saved as a shapefile. We'll go to Save and Run. Oh, let's make sure we've clicked Open Output File so that will load in the file analysis. It'll load directly into our QGIS so we can see it immediately. Click Run. And I love how fast QJS is. Now we'll hit close. So here are the five different turtles home ranges. And let's take a little peek at the analysis by right-clicking 
on that new layer and go to open attribute table. And here we see the perimeter for all of our individual turtles. And our analysis was projected into UTMs. So this is going to be in meters because, um, because UTMs is based on meters. And if you wanted to save your analysis, you've already told it to where to save to your folder. So in the future, you can just load that right in as a shapefile. So I hope you have found this helpful.